<sighs> What's up everybody? Welcome to another Woodstove Wednesday. <laughs> That's right. Uh, if you've never seen the Woodstove Wednesday and you're new uh, to the channel, then welcome. Uh, this is basically us just sitting back and chit chat with you guys. And we haven't done a Woodstove Wednesday in months. Since so, the winter time. Since the winter time. We have a little more time on our hands. We have a lot more time in the winter. But <laughs> we've had so many requests. Like, when are we getting another Woodstove Wednesday and... Are y'all quitting Woodstove Wednesday, or <laughs> do you only do them in the summertime? So the answer is... Uh, the wintertime? The wintertime. Yeah, <laughs> not the summertime. We were in the summertime. So the answer is yes to all of those, except for are we quitting Woodstove Wednesday? No. We've just been, we've been busy. Yeah. But I don't remember when this comic took place back in April. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, it was the best comment ever. <laughs> it was a great comment. And uh, it's from outside in Alaska and Hawaii. You know who you are. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna we're gonna go through the comment and just answer the questions because it was it was great because it's gonna hopefully bring you up to speed on all the stuff. I'll just read the comment. Dear YouTuber, I guess that's us. <laughs> thank you. We don't really consider ourselves YouTubers, but thank you. <laughs> I don't know if, yeah. <laughs> New video, please. Understand you have obligations to the homestead, but put your viewing public in suffering from all the cliffhangers and loose threads hanging out there. Worse than the keto, trust us. Whatever became of Sergeant Hulk's big toe? Question number one. So, months ago, I had an ingrown toenail. I went in to the doctor. Oh, I... Perform surgery on myself, trying to extract said toenail. At the cabin. At the cabin, and man, it got super infected. We couldn't get out for... But there was literally like, it was blowing like 50 knots, and there were like 8 and 10 foot seas out here in the passage. We weren't leaving. And so we, we couldn't leave. So I had to sit around for like three, what was it, three days? Three or four, four days. Four days. With like this toe that My was... My toe... Oh. <laughs> It totally, <laughs> and I didn't tell her. No, it had to be like four days because I didn't tell you for like three days. He was scared to tell me. I was like, babe, <laughs> you might want to come down and take a look at my toe. This green. And she was like, good God. <laughs> <laughs> good what? God, son. What is it good for? <laughs> Antibiotics. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> So anyways, I went in and I saw the doctor and the doctor cut my toe and squirted all the pus out and gave me a buttload and I mean like both cheeks load of shots. Yeah. Two on the right, one on the left and some oral antibiotics. Yep. If but, I, but then, go ahead. Yeah, it finally, the infection finally went away. And then, um, I think we went to a podiatrist. But no, it was like a week later, I was like, my toe is like getting infected again. Oh. So we went to the podiatrist, and the podiatrist gave me those two shots in your toe again. Which, by the way, felt a lot better with the podiatrist doing it. It hurt like hell, because at the doctor's office, they had like an intern like doing it. And you know how like the, the, the new guys are, and they're like just poking and... And Anyways, moving it around. <laughs> ooh, I was sweating. I was like, man, I'm starting to sweat up here. But the podiatrist was like super smooth. I mean, when he said I had to get the shots again, I was like sweating bullets. But uh, I'm glad. Now I'm like, oh, I can do the shots. But at the the way I did them the first time, I was like, oh, I don't feel good. Uh, I'm about to I'm about to go. So, anyways, went to the podiatrist. He removed my ingrown toenail, and it was gross. So then, let's fast forward two months. Yeah, two, three months. I was like, damn, my toe's hurting again. <laughs> so, long story short, the toenail regrew, but regrew back into its old underneath the, the skin. So I went in and uh, he removed it again. But he couldn't, He was, what he wants to do is put some like stop growth stuff to like kill the nail in that little area. So it doesn't grow back anymore. But he couldn't do it. Because you had an infection. Because I had an infection again. So, um, long story short is, we're going to go into town, and I think I'm going to see if I can get a, an appointment with him now, because I don't have an infection no more, 
and get that. And it's been almost a month since he did it the, the second time. Um, get that toenail like killed in that little area and that way y'all just have a, a beautiful nail that grows. So no more toe incidents of 2019? <laughs> oh my lord, dude. The toe incidents of 2019 may carry over into 2020. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But that's what happened to Sergeant Hawka and his big toe. If you've never seen Stripes, he called me Sergeant Hawka and I and I'm a, I used to watch Stripes when I was a kid all the time because we had, you know, HBO was just a new thing back then and they played Stripes with Bill Murray and uh, um, John Belushi, I think. Uh, but I just watched that over and over again. Turns out I uh, went to the Army and <laughs> spent 21 years there. So so that, that lets you know what happened to the, um, the big toe. All right, question two. Will Gunner ever be friends with the Otters? The answer to that question, no. no. <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> will never. If you see, dude, this last video that I wanted to put up, I had two clips that I included on there and then erased them off the SD card. And then I, but I didn't save it to the hard drive. So when I re-uploaded the video, I lost it. But it's, it's basically Gunner chasing off other animals off the beach. He chased off a seagull. Then he went after an eagle and chased another eagle off with like a hundred seagulls. So I'm sorry. Because every time Gunner chases somebody and I get on film, I'm going to try to include it in videos. Because Gunner thinks this whole island is his. He's like, get off my beach. Get off my beach. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But will he make friends with the otters? I highly doubt it. He, the otters, the minks, and the martins are like his nemesis. and he, He'll try to grab them and shake them. <laughs> yeah, he, no. Gunner will never. Uh... Will Gunner ever make mom and dad grandparents? Aww. No. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Gunner has been spayed. Spayed or neutered? He, neutered. He's a male. He's a male. So he's been neutered <laughs> since he was a puppy. Because he never even, he hardly even lifts his legs to pee. Because he, he never marks. So he doesn't mark now. When he goes to the bathroom, he goes outside, does his business, and then comes back in. He doesn't like go from bush to bush to bush. He just... Pees and comes in. Bush to bush to bush. You know I love bush, everybody. If you watch the Woodstock Wednesdays previous to this. Uh, What's the latest situation with the bear? Uh, uh, we haven't seen him. That's good for us. Uh, I caught him on the trail cam a couple months ago. And then our neighbor. But uh, you should let them know that. You actually caught a second bear on the trail cam, not the not the skinny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I caught a full grown big butt. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. He did have a big butt. Did he walked by our trail cam? He was like, ba do, ba do, ba do, ba do. <laughs> he I, was a big boy. Yeah, and then our neighbor said he seen him uh, headed our way, and he was outside, and he took a didn't take a shot at him, but shot a a round off just to get him out of his property. So, so really we haven't seen him since May. That was in May, wasn't it? June, July. Yeah. But the fish are coming in, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if and they'll swim back and forth between the three islands here. So I wouldn't be surprised if he swims, you know, back and forth between the islands and, and is looking for fish. So our permit we can pick one up again in September. I think the fall bear season starts in September. I think. You think? I'll, I'll double check, but I think it does. Because uh, he has... The the black young bear... He's not a black bear. He's a brown bear, but his coat's black. Um, and when I say brown, it's a grizzly bear. But when they are in 50 miles within a coast, they're called brown bears. Um but the young bear that came over originally uh, last year, I don't think he's done any harm to anybody or anything. But the bigger bear is the one that has killed the other guy that lives in the family that lives out here year round. He's the one that killed their chickens and then re-killed their new chicks, you know, that was a few months old. So uh, that's hence the electric fence because we're going to electric fence the whole area. And that way when we get our chickens... Um, the fence will already be ready, ready. So when he comes over, he'll get a, a nice zap. zap to the nose or tongue and see you later, bear. Yep. 
He, I'm sorry. He said one shot and he's gone forever. You're exactly right. <laughs> so like I said, uh, I think we can pick up another tag in September. And I, you know, I'm not, I'm not like gung ho to go out and kill a bear because I, I don't think the bear meat's like super good. But uh, yeah, there's no reason for us to shoot him to eat him, which we will if we do. But if I don't have to, I, I won't. But if, if it becomes a problem, then we'll definitely take care of the situation. Will Wood Stove Wednesday ever come back? <laughs> Welcome back to Wood Stove Wednesday. Bam. <laughs> Will there be time for food gathering? Crabbing, fishing, Costco run, etc. <laughs> so we got between 60 and 70 crab this summer. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> It was a really fruitful summer with the crab. Yeah. We had a good run of them for sure. And we have some some food that we didn't eat and we're going to go into, when we go into town, we're going to go back and rebate the pots one more time and then uh, hopefully we'll catch a, a couple more rounds of crab with that stuff and that's, we'll, we got crab in the freezer. Now I just seen on Facebook one of my friends, uh, he... They were catching salmon up in the the river over there, and so mm. I think next week we're gonna start uh, going full board fishing for um, salmon. Salmon. Yeah, he was catching reds, but I think the the sockeye, not the sockeye, the um, coho? coho should be coming in. Anytime. And when they run in, woo, that's nice. You can just. Well, yeah, when the coho are running, I mean, you can just you can just stay out there a couple of hours and just be like, yoink, yoink, yoink. Yeah, it's Unless nice. you lose them off your hook like I do all the time, but <laughs> it is what it is. So coming real soon in the next couple of weeks, um, it's, we're going to be fishing. Fishing. Look, look forward to some fishing videos. Yep. Um, uh, where's the drone? All right, so here's the deal with the drone. I love flying the drone, but it's windy here. And it rains a lot here. And those are two things the drone doesn't like. Uh, so if I fly it and it's windy, it uses the battery really fast because it stabilizes itself. And so even if I'm not doing nothing, it's working all the time to stay stable. And so, uh, you know, I'm supposed to get like 27 minutes of battery life out of it. You but get what, I 10? get like 10 on a windy day. <laughs> and the other thing is, um, is it's raining and it's not good for the components when it's raining so that's why i don't shoot a whole lot of i try to just shoot it when it's not windy and it's dry <laughs> <laughs> i had a brain fart for a second yeah. but i so uh when i was filming the landing craft it, it, he was going into a headwind so my drone was having a hard time getting in front of the boat let's say this is the boat my drone was having a hard time getting in front of the boat so when i was trying to, to grab it i was like and he was moving like at 20 knots and it crashed into the boat Oops. but it didn't do any damage to the boat and the boat it definitely didn't do any damage it did just made some paint marks on my blades for the drone but i love flying the drone because you can get a lot of good shots Another thing is the eagles hate the drone, and the eagles will try to attack the drone. So yeah. I have to be like really, because the drone's like a thousand bucks. So you have to be really kind of careful what you're doing with the drone. Because I was flying it around last year, and all of a sudden out of the trees is, comes this eagle like in <laughs> attack mode, <laughs> talons yeah. out, just ready to pounce on my poor drone. I was like a port. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel mission. <laughs> all right, so Ariel's. I'll see what I can do. Is the keto slowly killing you? Yes, it still is. So we went on a keto diet, keto-esque. Uh, we don't do a full-blown keto, or I don't do a full-blown keto, because I eat peanut butter and apples and some fruit and stuff. And I'm try I, I need more fiber in my diet. You want to talk, <laughs> should we talk grown-up talk? No. Look, we're all adults here. I look at my <laughs> analytics. There ain't no, like, 10-year-olds here. So anyways, Please the luxury don't. of having, no, no. <laughs> I want my poop to be like the way it used to be. That's all I'm going to say about it. I need to add a little more fiber. It's a little loose. <laughs> just think of going, just think of Dairy Queen when you're pulling down some soft syrup ice cream. <laughs> I want it to be a little more, I want there to be more consistency to it. 
enough of that, okay? <laughs> Sweetheart, stop it. How much weight have you lost? Well, I've lost like 24, 25 pounds. That's pretty good. And that's pretty good, because I can fit into my old jeans. <laughs> so that's pretty good. And I'm happy. <laughs> I just want my poop to be back to normal. <laughs> Hey, there's a story behind that whole thing, too, but we're going to spare you the details. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. Like, he read our minds. It's like we read this email and then did exactly what he wanted. Will there be raised beds garden this year, or at least a storage totes? Yes. We got three raised beds this year, and we're looking at having, I don't know, maybe eight more, maybe 10, 12, well, I don't know. We're going to see how many we can fit on this side where the new, where the beds are right now and on the other side. So this winter, we're going to be doing some clearing and, and trying to get more beds in for next growing season. So to answer your question, yeah. We did. We did get beds in. We've been pulling a lot of... Um... I've been holding this email for a long time. <laughs> and obviously we've been neglecting our Woodstuff Wednesday duties. <laughs> Uh, Should we talk about what we have so far in our raised beds? Yes. We should also talk about what happened to our stuff in our raised beds. <laughs> we got root maggots. Like, I don't know, they call them cabbage root maggots. Yeah. We, they... have, we have this certain fly around here that, in the southeast... <laughs> that just loves to lay eggs in the cauliflower and the broccoli. Took it all out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we lost all of our cauliflower, block, broccoli, and all but one of the cabbage? Well, one cabbage I think has made it, and there's a second one that I'm hoping will make it too. That's two. <laughs> That's two out of a <laughs> lot. Yeah, so, but the zucchini turned out great. We've been picking zucchinis this all week. Yeah. The lettuce turned out great. What's the lettuce that we really liked? It grew really good. Oh, romaine lettuce. You really like romaine lettuce. Yeah, that was super good. And when we're going to put a greenhouse in next year, or we're going to try to, don't hold us to it because things get built really slow around here. But we want to grow tomatoes and peppers and some of the hotter crops. Yes, because I had to get rid of all my zucchini. I mean, I had to get rid of all my cucumber. It just... It was too cold. It was too cold. For that and um, it just it stunted and it didn't grow but not a question on here but a question is do we ever go swimming no we can you can we can but we don't in the winter time the water temperature out there is 50 or uh, 42 degrees and in the summertime it's 50 degrees and our air temperature here in the summer ranges between 50 and 60 degrees Sometimes it'll get up into the 70s, and then for two weeks uh, in July, the beginning of July, we had two whole weeks of like 80 degree weather, and that's like a super heat wave. Dude, you, there was, any girl under 18 was in a bikini at the <laughs> beach during those two weeks of 80 degree weather. I mean, it was hot, and that's why everybody was seeing my white legs, which I did get a sunburn on, thank you very much. Yeah, but I would like, I'm hoping, hopefully next summer, or in May, Brian will buy me um, a wetsuit, and then I'll start swimming out um, in front of the cabin here, and he'll kayak next to me. That's a good so, plan. Yep. We'll see if it works. <laughs> will the happy couple ever get their mud room? Yes, <laughs> we got the mudroom. Is it finished? No, no. <laughs> no. But it's there, and it's getting used. We're storing stuff in it, uh, but we'll get it finished before fall hits because that's when the winds really pick up and we get that slamming rain. So if it's not finished by then, then we're going to have leak issues, and we don't want that. So we will definitely finish the mudroom or the entryway. We kind of put that on hold and did the whole garden stuff. The garden and yeah, because we we started that in the early spring, but then we were like, we're really behind on the garden, so we went full garden mode. And then we got the tractor, and I was like, I want to tear dirt up, so <laughs> take down some trees. Yeah, so we're trying to get the the. Before I finish the, the mudroom entryway, 
we're trying to get a leach field and maybe the water tanks hooked up and then start working on that. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Oh, here you go. Uh, a back deck? No, there's no back deck. Not even in the plans right now. <laughs> we just have way too much stuff going on. Uh, proper water catchment. Just answered that. We're working on it. Um, greenhouse next next year. Our plans are to have a greenhouse. Will it be nice? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to try to get one. Parts for the custom made ATV trailer. Oh, dude. You can't, you're killing me here. <laughs> I bought a trailer. I have. I'm. I'm broke. I got no money to do nothing. No, you bought a tractor. I bought a tractor. And now I can only dream of fixing my awesome ATV trailer. It will happen sometime. Oh, dude, I love that trailer so much. I mean, it does everything I want. It's perfect. I made it to hold those totes just the way I like them. It's low to the ground. The center of gravity is so low it never tips over like the other trailer, but. <sighs> now I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'll get to it. But I gotta save some money back up because that tractor wasn't cheap. <laughs> he says this is like the off-grid version of the Truman Show. <laughs> Ground control to major. I think that's Truman. Didn't he like draw on the vanity mirror and yeah. with some soap or something? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> good, good morning, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, and good evening, and good night. That's right. All right. We have answered all the questions. <laughs> We're going to try to do more Wood Stove Wednesdays in the future. And it, fall's coming up real quick, so expect them more in the fall and definitely in the winter. Because the winter time, everything kind of goes to a really screeching halt and then we're done yeah then we just kind of go into survival mode so uh we'll we're going to try to do them as often as we can but if you're new and this is your first wood stove wednesday <laughs> this is what it's all about <laughs> so anyways thank you guys for watching and what do you say i totally forgot <laughs> <laughs> our son had this great thing from last year and he said if you want us to know comment below oh that's right i totally forgot boy it's been a long time that's true and we so the commenter of the week because i didn't pick one is gonna have to be the the screenshot that i've been carrying around for months and that's outside in alaska and hawaii thank you very much you know i always <laughs> i enjoy the witty comments you know um <laughs> makes my day we read them all so it's uh very interesting so thank you guys so anyways hope you guys have an awesome day we'll see you next time see you next time what about you gunner <laughs> he's sleeping he's dead